Hello everyone. Today we are going to have some fun with proliferate cube. So I was uh, grinding on arena the mystic ladder limited and I uh, I need a break. And um yeah, so I thought I switch over to magic online and do uh, do one of these wacko drafts here. So, let's go. I already did one of these drafts a few days back and the power level is definitely strange. Uh, there are, um, there's a lot of great fixing but not that many reasons to play multicolor. But on the other hand, I thought I had a, like a really bad deck and I lost round one against like a Demir control deck. And I just had not enough threats in my deck at all. But then I played against like some green creature decks with proliferate and counter synergies. Um, I, I beat I beat those decks bad, so it, it was not close. I would say so. Um, yeah, maybe like it's right to just go for a for a big control deck. But I'm open to maybe try something like Mono Red, but I guess it's it's a little bit harder to play Mono Red in an environment where everybody is playing like mid-range decks that are pretty explosive or could be pretty explosive. Or like have Kitchen Things, Gain Life, Archangel of Toon, all, all that stuff. That life stuff is here, so maybe Red is, is just a little bit too too tough. Alright, what do we got? We have Bayou, that's a great land, but I want to try to take just bombs in the first few picks. I would say like the best cards that qualify for that are like Steel Overseer. The Giant is better than it looks and Victimize and Parting Thoughts are also not bad. I think the Steel Overseer is pretty, pretty hard commitment. I think I just take this. Destroy a creature and draw like a card or two, maybe. I had I had an opponent that drew ten cards against me, lost ten life, but then they easily won, so I just going to take that. Alright, I like planar outburst because you see there are a lot of creatures in these packs. Um, this is an artifact card uh, and weapon craft enthusiast is not the greatest either. I don't know really where that this would lead me. So I think I'm just going to take the planar outburst. Move to the deck. All right, so this is an Ozov card. Seven mana, flying lifelink, sacrifice a creature. All right, it's a lot of text. It's not too bad. Um, often you won't have other creatures, but a big flying lifelink guy is, is fine. I don't think there's a great pick besides that, maybe Thrumming Bird, but I don't really know about that. Chromatic Star, Prophetic Prism. I honestly like the Prism, but I, I guess I take this guy. This looks fun. Alright, and now there's no good card for Orsov. We could take just Apostle's Blessing. It's better than it looks. There are a lot of cool creatures you want to protect and this can really be a blowout. What happened? Okay. So I think I'm going to take that over something like Aurelia which I would think is like the next best card, maybe Triumph of the Hordes, but yeah, we have to be pretty green for that. 
So I guess it just takes this. What is this doing? Okay, so not that many ways to put cre uh, things on your opponent's side. I like Phyllis likes the most out of this pack, but I don't think we can play it. So I think for us there's Unexpectedly Absent, which is pretty good, and Build March, which is also pretty good. I think I just want to take this. Alright, this Saga looks great. Four for Angel seems like a pretty good size of a body here. Flang is Flang is powerful, I have the feeling in this in this set. Not a lot of flyers. And then you can also kill a guy with it. Okay, Phantom Nomad or Shalai. We can't activate the ability, but maybe just the body is good enough. Or the ability rather. Phantom Nomad. Maybe I just want the Phantom Nomad. It's not the best. Ah, let's take Shalai. Is this any good? It's pretty it's pretty expensive. Sell a creature and then bring it back, but you have to keep two mana open. Well, I think I just take this guy. No, let's take Plateau. You never know. Okay. Well, I mean, this, this is a fine magic card, definitely. Um, Magda is. It's the best, but I don't think we want to play Magda. All right. Hmm. I guess I take this Plains Land and then maybe I can splash blue. Okay, this could be fine. I think I take the Prophetic Prism. want Mem Knight, so I take this. And yeah, sure. Don't think I want to play Torian Mauler, even though I kind of like that card. Land Coils. Can figure that out later, and this is not a card. Okay. What does this do? Hmm. Wow. Hold up. Hallöchen. There's Fiery Confluence. Unfortunately, we are not close to being able to cast that. So... I think I just want to take like... This, this guy. Even though it's not the most exciting card. Bloodgast, Village Rides, Karen Feeder, Martyr, Saddle Strike, Energy Chamber. Uh, not really. I mean, a crone was is, is fine, but I think I take the, the puppet. Ooh, Drana is Drana is nasty. I mean, there is God is shrine that's pretty juicy as well. Yeah, let's let's take Drana. All right, and now we could just take a Thraven Inspector. If you play planes, then Thraven Inspector is always fine to add. And I don't think there's something better. So also this is, I think, not not a, a good great card or something. And Hangerback Walker would be maybe my next pick, maybe the Chalice. But I really like the Raven Inspector. Look to the deck. 
here's not really a card I want to play. So this is the closest to it. I have some expensive cards, so getting them a turn earlier could be worth it. And yeah, at some point in most games you you'll be able to flip this guy. Is this good? Yeah, seems pretty good. I mean, the rest of the cards don't seem that great. This is like not even. This is ridiculous. Um, this is like sideboard card. This is great, but I think this is better. And then this is, and those are not not for us really. Okay, hmm, Threadwork Colony. I always kind of liked that card, but it was never great. Um, and I think it's also not great here. Ephemerate could be decent, just to maybe protect the guy or... I mean, it's, it's cool with the Grim Puppet, Thraven Inspector, all that. I think it's just better than uh, star pupil, and I will just take it. All right, Atraxa. I don't think that we can play that, so I think I just want to take a cyber card, Seal of Cleansing. There are a bunch of artifacts or enchantments or whatever, so this is fine. Rather, this is a good cyber card. I mean, Showdown of the Skulls is pretty nasty, but it's it's a great separate card, so I or a good separate card, so I want to take it. Um, Myriad Construct. I don't think this is good. The Volt Scourge is not good, so I think I I take it. Okay, Matthew for the cause. Maybe just take the Ratchet Bomb. Maybe can get handy at some point. Uh, yeah, I take this guy. Not the strongest card, but um, can be decent, I think. Okay. Just clicking on cards here. This might be better than Shalai, the High Sentinels. Okay. Um, hmm. Not the so great, it's Ors of Pack, I would say. What is this? Hmm. Not good. I think I will just take the Knight. There's nothing I really want to splash. No. I like Kalitas. Sword of Truth and Justice. What is this? I think I just take Kalitas. Hmm, this is not an easy pick. Um, Ether Poisoner, Legion's Landing, Recruit of the Guard. I would like to have some more creatures, but those are not really the best. So I think I'd take Fail Push. I would like my removal to be better than Fail Push, but I guess it's fine. I think this is still not too bad. Maybe? Well, maybe it is. Hmm. Do I want 
want this guy. Do I want Blood Artist or the Hidden Dragon Slayer now? Blood Artist is pretty good, but... I'm not like a token deck or something. I think it takes a Hidden Dragon Slayer even though... Maybe it's just a separate card. Marin is... Is the... Insane. I don't actually think that I Danto is that great. Don't know about this one. I think I just take Marin and then maybe it ends up in the deck. So I guess I take this. Is this any good? Not really right. I think I want definitely just play a uh, Marin, and then I guess I, I take this. And now I could take the replication ring over the Loxodon. I like that. Okay, blue, I don't play blue. Mm. So I take this. What is this? Maybe this for the sideboard. Oh, eat a poison now. I just play Swallow Hole, whatever. And then, what is the land that I want to cut? I have this guy, but I don't even like that guy. So, this is the final deck. I changed the Knight of the White Orchid for the Winding Constrictor. I mean, maybe it's bad because the opponent has minus counters and infect, but maybe it's great because we have our uh, cards like this. And Shalai puts double the counters and uh, this card, Drana uh, puts uh, double the counters, it's this doubles the, doubles the counters. I mean, this gets two counters for what it's worth. The, um, the one, one one becomes a two two and so on. Uh, Kalitas gets plus one plus one counters in some cases. This has counters. This means you get more experience because of the Winding Constrictor. And the ring grows twice as fast. Well, that's not really that interesting because we don't have that uh, many cards to sink our mana into anyways. So, but I think this is, this is better with the Winding Constrictor instead of the Knight of the White Orchid. And then we play seven planes and eight swarms at the forest and this might be a little light for Straven Inspector especially or for this card maybe or this but I really want to be able to play those and these so I think it's better like this and then we have uh, the ring and the fragment after turn three in in a lot of games, maybe we have the prison. Okay, so let's see how this how this goes. Um, maybe this deck is incredibly bad. Maybe it's all right. All right, here we are for the first game, and we are watching a replay. It just doesn't take that long to watch it, and um, sometimes I had issues where the 
the video file like uh, kind of loses frames even though I'm recording while playing. So this is just testing me out of if this will this will work. And I think here is a button where I can skip to the end of the turn. All right, so starting hand, we have double black, we have Drana, and that's, this is a great start. Let's see what the opponent does. Burden Catacombs, all right. So let's skip to the end of the turn. I played that, opponent's turn. Sacked that, get a tropical island, played the bird. Redrew the final parting, and now we have an interesting decision. They have no second land, because this was their second turn. And um, we could play Drana or kill the bird. And it's not clear um, what I should do. I played the Drana, so I can get ahead on board while they are maybe struggling on mana. If they only have two mana, they can't really uh, play a creature good enough to deal with the Drana or something. That were my thoughts. So play the Drana. They in fact um, have uh, no land still, but um, they have a talisman and they have search for tomorrow. So now obviously I regret not just killing it, kind of, but. Um, Yeah, attack, gets a counter here, and then they play Hadana's Climb and pumps the bird. So now I could kill that with the Parting Swords, I would even draw a card. Or what I do here is play the Winding Constrictor. Kill the bird with the swallow hole, get two counters on the constrictor, attack with Drana and get two counters on the Drana. Wow, the cards are flying. I don't even see them myself. Alright, let's see what they are doing here. They get a swamp, they play that guy, they Play another Signet, I put a counter with Hadana's Climb. Alright, I attack. Say jump here. And then they concede. Alright. Um, I bring the Seal of Cleansing in against this opponent, I believe. And yeah, let's let's uh, check out game two. All right, here we are for uh, game number two. I turned the volume down, sorry, um, for that. And this is the starting hand, not the greatest hand, but we have all the colors and Ras is like the perfect card to catch you back up when you're a little bit behind on, on creatures at that point. And the fragment obviously goes goes well with the, with the Ras, so. They kept seven as well. We uh, drew the Furia Retribution, okay. No big choice there. Then let's see what they did. They just played the forest, okay. I play the Reaver now. And then they play this card. This is a scary card. So three mana, one, one, not the greatest, but Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my opponent's control, this gets a plus one plus one counter. And then every creature that is uh, less powerful than, than this card can't block when they attack. So uh, my guys can't block if, if they play a single creature. So um, yeah, I play the fragment here and then Obviously, attacking is a little bit better because I'm unlikely to be able to block here. And then 
my op opponents play the scavenging ooze and and this card okay so i'm not sure what i did here all right looks like <clears throat> the reaver is sw uh, swallowing this the scary champion here and then i play the retribution okay and then they they just play search for tomorrow for three mana so this looks great Now I can attack, kill the ooze. And this is just such a great card, the retribution. And now I even play the Marin. And my opponent has a fetch land, kills that. I get an experience counter from Marin. And then they have a 2-2. Two -two. I ping for another life point here. Then that goes away. I could put two, uh, put a Pathfinder's one counter on my creatures, but I don't do it. I just put them on three. And then if I play a big blocker, I can uh, destroy that. But uh, they just concede, so that is round number one uh, let's check out round number two here we are for round number two and it looks like i was playing first here so let's uh, skip to the first turn hello and good luck and um, yeah we have a reasonable hand unfortunately no double black for the drana but we have uh, we have green mana so we can play a 3-3 three, three chamber sentry and I usually like waiting on the Chaber Sentry as long as you got the, got the lands. Um, because, you know, you just get more damage out of it and pinging is really good. Right, so I have a green-white land. And then, yeah, we just play the Chamber Sentry. Okay, so I played nothing so far. Let's see what they do now. Right, they play this 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 two two. Looks like they don't have much going on for that turn, and rather than do nothing, they just they just play that. Okay, so I think I just attack here. Don't really want to swallow that. Um, even though I, I can't really swallow that, I mean, I, I don't want to, to shoot that. And I'm fine trading three for two, I, I think. So they play a four four. And um, I draw this uh, this crazy card. But I don't have double black yet. I don't have the, the man obviously to cast it yet. So I um, I just do nothing here. I could have swallowed that. This turn makes this a four four. But I kind of like the idea of blocking, then giving protection, that damage resolve, and then maybe paying one damage uh, after hand, after that, after combat damage, whatever. So, Song of Freya leaves. Now all their things can produce mana and they have a Jade Light Ranger and they resolve this Hydra. So this is a 5 mana 4-4, four, four, but it doubles its counters every time it attacks. So that's a super scary card. Um, and even though we have Swallow Hole to kill it once it attacked once, uh, yeah. 
still um, taking eight is, is tough. So I just played Drana here. Could have played Swallow Hole, but I don't want to uh, be vulnerable to to the C2 plus ability, move a counter from target creature to uh, onto C2 plus. Oh, no, I thought it was the other way around. Okay, sorry, so maybe I should have done it differently, but I still like this line. We still have the line of blocking, uh, preventing damage, and then so on. So let's go through this step by step because I think this turn, uh, right, I have to click every mana. So now they have Ayani and now they their creatures have Vigilance. So Swallow Hole becomes a lot weaker. And say pumps the whole team. And I'm glad I didn't do the other plan. I, uh, I want to have this much power right now. Alright, they attack, I double block here, and then they uh, go for Dromokas command, put a counter there, and fight there, and then I just protect my, my Drana, kill that guy, and, you know, take my loss in this exchange, but I guess it's fine, they get a, they get a counter out of it. Let's uh, skip to the end of the turn. And I swallow hole because we, we kill the tapped creature, still doesn't do anything. But now I have this guy available, and this is pretty strong. So uh, I have to use this as a blocker. I'm on 7 life. They will have the third chapter next turn from this, and they can put another counter on each creature. So these guys will be seven power at least. So the Strana is destined to die because I have to sacrifice it in the Bishkai. So what I want to do is make it three power. Um, for that matter, I have to attack them, and then the the Bishkai. Uh, has the ability to become an 8-8 eight eight with lifelink, which should be at least pretty decent here. So let's jump to the turn. I do exactly that. I attack them, get a counter on Drana, and then play play the vampire. Alright, and now the guys are indestructible and have uh, all these crazy abilities. They play the Hydra. All right, I do this. And I even gain a life in this exchange. But obviously Madrana is dead now. All right. Now I have the Myriad Construct and they have a non-basic land, so I pay kick a kicker, so I get another counter out here. And then I sacrifice it into the Bishkal, so this becomes a 13-13, and they get to gain, uh, go to 2 life. And then after that, I remove the counters and kill the Hydra. Uh, and they are often two, so the three life from the Ajani won't, won't save them. So that's why I killed the Hydra. I mean, with the Hydra, it's like, I think it's lethal, yeah. So I had to do that. But uh, obviously, gain the damage and the life in first. And then. Let's just play it, so they gain life. 
and the tip tip concede. So, all right. Okay, uh, second game of this round. Let's jump to the first turn. They play animation module, and this is this is fine. Getting uh, for one mana, one 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 token is a pretty good deal, and they had a have a lot of synergies in that regard with the with the plus one plus one uh, counters. So we have the constrictor push fragment. This so this is a great removal obviously against them. Kill a creature with a lot of token and draw a lot of cards. Uh, I mean counters, not token. Okay, so let's jump to the first turn. Play the swamp. Obviously, we can push or play the constrictor if we draw the one forest here. Let's jump to their second turn. They just do nothing. Okay, so we can't do anything either. Just play planes. And then they still do nothing, okay. Uh, so fragment obviously is a play for this turn. And fragment allows us to play Kalitas and push in the same turn. Uh, if they play a small creature here. And they have this. Put a plus one plus one counter on it that triggers an animation module and they are animating a servo token. So their plan is working out, I guess. So we are just playing Kalitas and kill the druid main, main turn, just uh, gain the value while we can. One mana, destroy, destroy a creature, get a creature, it's a pretty good deal. And they uh, may, might be able to do some shenanigans here and if we wait on the on the fatal push in their turn then might maybe they can like kill the Kalitas in response and we don't get the token so Kalitas kill that guy gain the token okay all right let's see what they are doing here okay they just play swords closures and they are stuck on mana again it seems so and now I just uh, play the Constrictor and the Shalai. And this is a great combination of cards, obviously, but we're missing the, the second green. Attack first. And then, yeah, that's, that's the play. So... Yeah, let's see what they're doing here. <laughs> Looks like they just concede. Okay, so um, they were stuck on lands this game. So uh, we were able to overcome this opponent. All right, so let's uh, jump to the finals. All right, welcome to the final round. They're going first, so... They um, play a forest. And we have this hand, Prophetic Prism, into the ring, into either Retribution or Kalitas. And the ring allows us to uh, play Kalitas or Retribution and have the Blessing open. So that's especially good with the Retribution. So that's the plan for now. And let's see what they do in the second turn. And they play a Dent Protector. This is pretty scary already, so not, not a great decision here. And um, we draw the, the big vampire. All right, they have Evolution Sage and Link Mod Nexus. And yeah, we just have another dumb artifact here and now let's see can they deploy some counters and go off here or, or what's the deal so looks like we are losing this game badly so they played in fact this and spread the love here 
uh, they both got a counter, but they don't have uh, a land, so they couldn't trigger the the proliferate. Thanks God. So, um, yeah, I just play, I just play this, and yeah. Then I maybe can destroy a creature next turn. Okay, so in their turn they are attacking and they have a land, so these guys are super huge. So I block this guy. I don't know if this is right. I just thought the proliferate ability is better than this ability of not being able to block. But this guy gets pretty huge and then it's unblockable and this, that's uh, yeah. And I'm on low life already, so. Let's see how this turns out. Alright, so they in fact played the land, proliferated on those two. I blocked there. They played Apostles Blessing. I also played Apostles Blessing. Took six damage because this, this cost me two life. And um, yeah, now there's not much left I can do. Play the Kalitas and I destroy Nissa here. So I get a token. And now they could just. Uh, they can't just attack me with all. But then um, they have another land. And they didn't have a land before, so they drew it. And now uh, this is just lethal already because I can't block but they also show us that they have a sword and that is a good game unfortunately losing the first game in the finals all right second game so now I'm on the play here and I play first okay it's happening okay this is the first hand and this is a horrendous la hand. I even can't even play the Marion, and this Lust Reaver is super weak and can't carry a hand on its own with five lands. And this is just not happening here. So, Maligan that. And then this is uh, the next hand. And again, Reaver is, is not a good card. It's just if you don't have. A lot of things going on the first turns and maybe you can use this as a blocker but we have three cards that cost two mana essentially so reaver is the weakest here and uh, that goes so i play a planes and then my opponent also plays planes i draw shalai and i just uh, play the the hidden dragon slayer um I can't really wait around with that. If I have three mana, I want to play the ring and then the shalai and so on. And I don't even know if this is good. And the first good thing I can just put back anyways. And then I have a death touch guy maybe coming up. So that just gets us out of here. Let's uh, use our mana. So let's see what they are doing in the second turn. Also another planes. And uh, we have the land from the top, so this is great. We can just play the ring, I guess. Um, we could play this, but you, we don't know what, what they're going to play here, and uh, dropping a Shalai first is, is pretty, pretty nice. Developing mana is just so important, I think. All right, so they are turn three. What are they doing? They have this this land. This is not a great land to play if you are stuck on on two planes already. So my guess is that they are stuck on on colors or lands or something here. So let's see what I draw. All right, so I draw a Drana, and. I'm not sure what I'm playing here, Drana or Shalai. Let's find out. 
Drana, okay. Yeah, I mean, Drana is, is better the longer it is in play, obviously. So if I play the Shalai, I give up on, uh, on essentially one power because this is three power, but this already in the next turn uh, has put four power on the battlefield. So yeah, Drana. If, uh, I, I guess they are struggling here a bit. They have no place. Um, last turns and they have this shit land. So I think Drana puts the most pressure on them. This is like more of a safe play, but I don't have to play safe here. All right, and they have a forest now and they have a luminous broodmother, so Let's see what I draw. I draw Kalitas. So now I just want to be able to attack with the Drana. I use the upsend just for x equals zero and then play the Poisoner. Because if they just replay the Broodmother, then the Drana would, uh, has already grown once. So these just bounce off while the other creatures can't attack. And they they take a, a lot of damage in the meantime, and then I can just play Shalai or something. So this is uh, the turn. So up then on the brute mother attack counters this guy. Okay. Next turn for them. They play planes and they play the group mother again. So there's the ring. Let's see what I draw here. All right, I draw the push, but I guess nothing will die. If they block the the dragon slayer, then the drana will with first strike put a counter on the dragon slayer and trade with the brute mother. So that's a really bad block. So the dragon slayer can easily attack. Um, so I am I won't play push. I'm worried that they maybe have a sword to close or I, I don't know, for my Drana. So I play the Shalai before combat, so they can't blow me out like that. Then I attack, they bounce with, of the, with the Drana as expected. And we create a uh, zero token with a poisoner. Okay. They play this. Put a counter on their brute mother. Maybe they could have put a counter on the shalai. But um, I, they, they can't really deploy more more pressure here. I, c I can't really gain extra extra power there because they are already maybe blocking here and then they take one more damage and then that's that might be uh, one too many okay so uh, let's see what i do here okay i draw the prism so i attack with all these guys all right and now they eat my Drana, they bounce off the 3 2. They take 5. And now we try to fail push the Brute Mother, but they save it with Ephemerate. We draw a card with the Prism and um, yeah, pass the turn. Now, if we draw a land, we can um, activate the ability of Shalai. So they Ephemerate this with the retrace and then put counters there then they draw a card then they find this they're able to to, to kill the shalai and now um doesn't look too good anymore so i play kalitas and i attack with the death touch guy now they don't want to go to one so they trade here 
and we get a zombie. Pretty good. And they are sad, so two life, not enough to survive the next turn, it seems. And uh, yeah, one exciting game for all the marbles missing here. So let's check it out. All right, my opponent plays first now. And um, they keep their hand. And I guess I keep mine too. Playing an outburst is is pretty nice, and those are pretty good cards. I have double white for all of that, and yeah, I I, I keep it. It's not the best hand, but I feel like Mulligan is even even worse. All right, they have the Pyramid of the Pantheon. That's a pretty cool card. They can put. Uh, brick counters on it for two mana they get one mana out of it so essentially one mana um, extra for the spell that they want to cast and they get a brick off of that and then if they have three bricks this uh, becomes like a gilded lotus and that's pretty cool all right i play the swamp here i don't know why and uh, they have the Raga Tree Speaker, so they are popping off, and luckily I draw the ring, so maybe I can play an outburst a turn earlier. And then they uh, put another counter here, and then they uh, they uh, pump this up, and then they just don't use it. Maybe they just afraid of something like swallow hole I don't know so I just play the ring here and then they uh, they play this so this is so scary already I don't want to take a damage and and uh, then maybe they have mana open or something so let's see what i draw here so i draw vivid growth but i just want to want to destroy destroy these cards they have three cards left and a bunch of mana left so yeah um so i bought it in seal of cleansing against them so maybe down the line I can destroy it, but I mean damage is mostly done if they have uh, used this like for now the next and then the turn after. So this is pretty nice. All right, and now they end up with a bunch of mana. And they have four cards in hand, so let's see what they can do with all that. All right, so they casted a giant Genesis Hydra, 6-6, six, six, and they found this off of that. So they put this into play, put three counters on it. They couldn't cascade. And the other cards they had were just like Dam Protector, High Sentinels, um, yeah, nothing as uh, expensive as this, but I mean, 3-6, it's not a bad, bad creature, I would say. So, all right. What am I doing now? Okay, so I draw the seal of cleansing here. Um, let's see what I do. Okay, I uh, play the... Retribution and just pass a turn. Now this could block that. I'm not sure if I would if I would make that block, but they're not even attacking. So yeah, I take six damage. And then they do nothing. So 
now again I play Shalai first, I think. Okay, and then um, I attack on and I kill there the spider. All right, and now I can use uh, swallow hole to kill the six six. That's pretty good, and. And then I also play the Seal of Cleansing to destroy the Pyramid of the Pantheon. Just, <clears throat> this is an Angel as well, so this will pop off double strike on both of those. This is lethal, because this is 8 damage, and then double strike, because this has, has a 1 plus 1 counter. So I could save the Seal of Cleansing to destroy the artifact creature that they, that's let them survive for another turn. But that's not really getting them into the game, or back into the game. So um, this would cost two mana, then they have only four mana left. And I don't think they can do something great with four mana left. And uh, it's better to just destroy the pyramid to maybe um, yeah, not let them play a big spell or a Ras plus something. So that's uh, the thinking behind uh, killing this with a seal of cleansing this turn. So swallow hole, seal of cleansing on that. And then they uh, use four mana for their own shalai. I attack, they they do this, jump there, they go on eight. I have drawn a Marin and um, I play the Marin, I play the Drana, they obviously don't have a Ras and yeah, that's the final. So the opponent said, too good for me, GG. Yeah, it was a pretty cool round. Um, and I'm happy that I won that in the end. So let's, uh, for all the gamblers, let's check out the, the uh, chest that I won. All right, here we are to open the chest. Yes, let's do it. Okay, five play points, identity crisis. Uh, it's, a, it's a funny card, uh, but not worth anything. And then this is not a great card, I feel like. So, not the greatest chest, but hey, thanks for watching. See you next time.